Hello and welcome to the special bonus video in my Ultima 4 playthrough. Today I thought I'd talk about my note-taking system. It's something I've referred to a lot over the course of uh, the playing the game. And I thought I'd share with you how I'm doing it because it does take quite a bit of note taking. Unlike modern games that have a quest log that will save key bits of information, we do not have that in Ultima 4. It expects you to keep notes. And so that's, uh, I've had a couple different ways of doing that over the course of playing the game. And so I thought I'd share my system with you. Let's get into it. So this is how I originally saved my notes. I did it in an, in an old school text file. Now the reason I chose a text file was I think I just wanted something quick and easy. I didn't want all the overhead of Word necessarily. Um, and you know we have lots of, lots of made up names here and I didn't necessarily want everything highlighting in red and whatever. So I just did this, but it got kind of unwieldy after a while because there's a lot more information than I thought I was gonna have here. There's a lot of stuff. And so this became kind of unwieldy after a while. And so I ended up switching to OneNote. Now OneNote is something I've used for work uh, for the last several years, I have for the day job. I have uh, actually completely gotten away from having a paper note taking system and moved to OneWord or OneNote. And I like it a lot, it's, it's very nice. And I was thinking about, okay, what do I want to do to kind of make my notes better? And this popped into my brain because I'm not really using it for anything here on my home PC. So I, what I've done is I've taken that, that text document and I've put it in here and I've broken things up into different sections. So to begin with, we have the quest. We embody the eight virtues, uh, conquer the abyss and view the codex of ultimate wisdom. That's what we're working toward. We're still in the middle of embodying the eight virtues. Um, so, so that is something we are working on here. We got our virtues and our principles. So the virtues, this is all the information we got from Lord British toward the beginning, uh, where he told us about the virtues and the various, uh, towns that are associated with them and some geographical information. So this is all that information we got from him. We've got the principles, truth, love, and courage, which, um, correlate to the castles, uh, we'll get to those. Um, so we know that the candle is associated with love, but there's a, there's also like a bell and a book, I think. And I'm not sure which is which. I have a feeling book is with truth and the bell is with courage, but we need to find that information out to know for sure. So I haven't recorded it here. We've got Hawkwind. Now, Hawkwind is a seer that we can visit at uh, Lord British's castle that will tell you how you are doing on your on your on your journey here through the eight virtues and as you can see i've got a real mixed bag going on so uh in this scale one is bad five is good so honesty i am a thief and a scoundrel uh i am a one and i think that's because i i've been paying less than i should be so i need to start um uh, when, when i'm buying reagents and stuff i need to start paying maybe even i'll pay a little bit more and uh, we'll get that back up. I don't think that one's going to be a big problem. Um, and that, that had actually gone down. So I'd been at a two the time before, or, or at least not a one, and I had gone down. So, so yeah, not a good trend there. Compassion, uh, I'm showing it well. That's a four out of five, so pretty good. I'm almost there. Uh, it's a trend as an NC. That stands for no change. So I, I've been doing it doing as well as I have been, but I need to, I need to show my compassion more, giving more to beggars when I come across them and whatnot. Valor. I am showing valor. I'm at a four out of five, and that was an improvement from the time uh, after that. So that's good news. I'm on a good trend there. Justice. Boy, I was wrong. I, before, before the last time I went to see Hawkwind, I was um, uh, unjust and cruel is what is what he said and i thought that was the bottom of the bottom and i got unjust wretch and i'm thinking oh, okay well maybe that's a step up maybe i'm at two no i looked it up it's I, i'm a dead bottom right now so trying to work on the justice there uh with that um by um I don't, I don't remember offhand how we're supposed to be just i think part of it is is letting things flee when they need to flee um 
and and uh, the other part is not killing um, non evil creatures, you know, snakes and bugs and all that kind of stuff. So I need to work on that. Sacrifice our giving of thyself, give more. I'm at a four, and I have been. That hasn't changed. So I just need when I can go to places and give them my life blood to help others, basically give blood, I guess. Um, I need to do that more and I'll get that up to five. Honor. Uh, I am a cad and a bounder low as a slug. I'm as low as I can get there. I can't do much about honor until I start hitting the dungeons is what I've, what I've read. So I need to, I need to, um, do that. I need, uh, we, we need to hit, we need to hit a dungeon right now. We only know of one, know the location of one. We know of several, but, but we need to find those locations. Uh, spirituality, you can see I'm still at four. I need to, that's probably the one I'm, I'm least certain on how to improve, but I'm, I'm not doing too badly. I need to improve that. And then humility, I've, I've achieved the pinnacle, um, uh, shines bright, seeky elevation. I'm at a five. That was an improvement. So I need to, to elevate. I need to f go get to the shrine. So here are the shrines. Now, we at least know where all of the shrines are. We found four of them. So humility, you'll see down here, is on a dark island um, that is, um, I think this is actually on um, the island where Magentia is, which is a city of, used to be the city of humility, now it's in ruins. Uh, and what I think we need to do is, is uh, Magentia is on the bottom part of the southern part of the island and there's a mountain range and so i think we need to get a ship get to the northern part of that island and get to uh get to the uh, the shrine okay so that we can uh meditate and then we can um get elevated and at that point i think we're locked in then we are partial avatar we've achieved avatar hood for that area we have to meditate for one two and three minutes at each shrine so and it usually makes you wait some time bef between uh, between those. So, so yeah. So we need to find um, the rest of these so that I, where I don't have found there. We need to find them. Um, we do have also the one for. Uh, let's see. I thought there's another one that's on an island. Oh yeah, honesty. The two H's. It lies on a different island north of Moonglow. So we need to get a boat. We need to get a, 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 a ship to sail in um, for both of those. So plus there's other places we need to get to that we can only get to by ship. Um, the Shrine of, and the Shrine of Valor is the third one. We can see it. We can see it when we Moongate into to, uh, the area of uh, Yalom. But um, we can't get to it without a ship. So we've got three of our four of our eight shrines here that we need a uh, ship to get to. Runes, here is what we have. Um, we have um, a line on the Rune for Valor. We know who to ask. Um, and then um, Humility, we have yet to, uh, to find that. So I've got the full set of mantras here. So that's good. This is one of the areas where I've, got the least amount of information probably is the stones and the dungeons. So there appears to be a dungeon that is associated with each virtue, and it is typically the um, opposite, opposite uh, meaning. Uh, so like honesty, we've got deceit, truth, which is really kind of two concepts, but uh, you know, untruth, being deceitful, compassion, despise, this, you know, valor and star. The star means I actually looked it up. Means being a coward. So that makes sense. I am thinking that we know we found justice wrong, a uh, uh, dungeon wrong. I'm thinking that has to do with justice. Uh, so that's why I have the question mark there um, is that I'm thinking that's probably the opposite of justice. Um, and then sacrifice we have to find yet honor um, the associated dungeon is shame. And spirituality, uh, we don't know yet. And humility is, is high floth. And uh, we do need to find some information from that at the tap intrinsic. Um, and, um, but I think I looked this up and it's like pride. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing that um, this might be pride. This might be, this might be the last one we have to go to because I think the, the dungeon for pride might be like the, the entry place to the abyss as well. So 
That might have to be the last one. We've also got colors associated with sweet. So there's a stone um, in each dungeon, and the stone has a particular color. And then there's a particular altar, um, and then any other notes that that I have there. So we have a lot of work to do in this area. Uh, I've been kind of I've been kind of uh, focusing on shrines, runes, and well, I got the mantras, but the shrines and the runes of late. Uh, but we have a lot of work to do to get all this information. I got this stuff down here because uh, this is the stuff I have a lot of questions on. So I know there's a dungeon wrong because I came across it, but I don't know what, what a stone is associated with it or what color. Um, we know that we have a dungeon high foth that's got a white stone, but we're not totally sure what um, uh, virtue it is it is associated with and um we know that there's a, something in the pub at britain there's a black stone uh that i need to ask about so i need to i need to find some stuff out on that here's our spells and reagents um you know so most of our reagents can be purchased in munglo scarbray and paws uh, we do have a couple lines on finding mandrake and nightshade so i need to, to work on that and then here are all the spells available to us we uh, cast a spell by uh, is the first first letter of the name, and that's why you get things like the exit and the up and the down um, uh, are a little different there because uh, there's already an E spell and there's already a U spell and there's already a D spell. So they had to come up with some other things for some of these things, but uh, for the most part, for everything else, it's considered the. Um, the, the first letter is how you do it. As you can see, I have some, some notes, like here's, I got to see somebody in a hidden village to learn the spell for gate travel. And um, possibly Nigel at the Lyceum is going to teach me how to do the resurrect spell. So I've got some, some work to do there. We've got our unmaxed, unmapped villages, uh, which I've got labeled in orange on the map. Uh, we have Vesper. That has the guild. We have pause where we can buy horses. Uh, I think I actually did this, but I need to double check next time in pause. And then there's another village on Lock Lake that we that we've heard lore of, but we don't have a name for it. Um, and so I have to find that. And I don't know that there aren't more villages, so we need to do that. We have our castles: the Lyceum, Empath Abbey, and Serpent's Castle. I think Empath Abbey is love. I think the Lyceum is truth. I should actually note that on here. Uh, and then Serpent's Castle is going to be courage, you know, tooth of courage. That's the, the, they do specifically relate. Our companions. So right now we've got four companions, uh, Iolo, Julio, Shamino, and Joffrey. We've got Yana or Jana. Yana? I like Yana. Maybe I'll say it, start saying it that way. Uh, I'm not just enough for Yana. If you recall, I'm a one, I think, with, uh, yeah, with justice. So I'm as bad as I can get. Um, so, and then uh, Dupree, intrinsic, I'm not honorable enough. So I got to get my honor up and my justi justice up, and then they will join my party. Um, uh, Magencia, I think there's one there, but I do not know who this is yet. Because uh, I didn't come across them the last time I was in Magencia, so we need to do that and find out who they are and hopefully get them to join our party. Let's see. So Magencia is humility. Oh, I should have no trouble getting them because I'm at a five on that, so that should be great. So then I'll have five companions. And then Moon Moonglow had a companion named Mariah. She's a mage, but I'm a mage, so she's not available. Basically, whatever class you are, you don't get the um, you don't get the companion. Um, for uh, of that same class so since she's a mage and i'm a mage we kind of cancel each other out so she won't join me here's an important thing the moon phases uh as far as understanding you know what are the different phases what is the moon gate associated with it and then each moon gate has got a set of specific destinations that it can go to uh, now, in this case, uh, from Moonglow, you can go right back to Moonglow, or you can go to Lord British, or you can go to Yehome. Uh, from Lord British, you can go to you, Monarch Trinsic. Um, from Yehome, you can go to Scarbray, Magencia, or Moonglow. So if I am at Moonglow and I want to go to Trinsic, you know, I need to double hop it. Maybe I go to Lord British here, and then I can go to Trinsic. Um, or I could go to... 
I could, you know, so if I wanted to go to Munglo, well, I'm at Munglo. If I wanted to go to Magencia from Munglo, I would go to Yehom, and then I could go to directly to Magencia. You know, so I've I, I went and spent a little bit of time, um, figuring out. Okay, so what are these things? That um, what are the destinations? Because they are consistent. And then I've got this nice little image sheet. It's not exactly how it looks in game, but at least gives me a nice visual representation of what crescent waxing looks like or what, you know, last quarter, things of that nature. So, so yeah, so this is, and these are the two moons. This is the one on the left, Trammel. Uh, this is how long it takes it to go through a complete cycle. And then likewise with Felucia on the right, um, it takes it 27 seconds, so... Some information on the abyss. I know there's a three-part key. Uh, we know the third part is lighting the candle of love at the entrance. I'm assuming that the other parts are going to have to do with the book and the bell. Um, but we need to find that information out. We need a word of passage. We were we were pointed to uh, Zayer the Wise and Pause. And then he now, in typical Fetch Quest style, sent us to see his brother beyond Lock Lake. Lock Lake is the, uh, the lake just to the... Uh, east of Lord British's castle. So we need to go do that yet. And then miscellaneous info. You notice this is a lot smaller than what it was in the uh, in the uh, text document. And that's because I took the time to uh, to do things like, you know, I pulled the I had a bunch of information about shrines. I pulled them out of here and shoved them in their own own page. And um, and also, uh, you know, just clean some stuff up. If there's stuff where we've already done what it said to do, um, then uh, we have to do it. But you can see there's a number of things that we need to do here. Uh, you know, this is one from an early earlier episode uh, where I was talking to this bard and totally spaced on what it was I was supposed to ask him about. So I need to go back and ask him about the cam about the candle. Um, but there's also somebody at Antos at all three of these places that will tell us of the appropriate uh, thing. So I need to do that. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of my miscellaneous information, uh, there. And that's, and that's it. That's, that's my, 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 um, way of keeping track of what it is I'm doing. Now, the other th thing I wanted to share briefly about is this is the Codex of Ultima Wisdom. It's at wiki.ultimacodex.com. And I will, I'll include a link to this in the, um, the notes for this one. This is, and this, as you can see here, this covers all of the Ultima games, not just Ultima 4, but they do have Ultima 4 right there, and then I can get into things. And so if I wanted to know about Pause, for instance, the, the, the village of Pause, I could search for that, and it's going to show me where it is on the map which I knew, and it's going to give me information about it. And they got different, th you know, Age of Darkness, the, oh, there's so many games here. So so Ultima 4 falls within the Age of Enlightenment. Um, and so it'll tell me things about it. You know, Likewise, if I wanted to know about, uh, say, Julia, my companion, I could search for Julia, and it's going to give me uh, some images of what she looks like, um, and it's going to tell me some information about her, that she's a, a, a one-on tinker, a long-time compa companion of the Avatar, so on and so forth. So they've got a lot of things here about the lore, if you need to know about it, as far as what it is that uh, the various characters do. Also, you can look for um, uh, notable NPCs, named NPCs. Um, if you are, like, I can look for Hawkwind, H-A, if I can spell. So he's a notable NPC, and um, you know he's a time lord, and so he can move through space. He and he uh, dons the persona of Hawkwind, and so we can see what it is that he's been doing over time. A lot of cool things you can see for that. But that's really all I had to share with you today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and um, if you have any questions about what it is I'm doing to keep track of things, then by all means, shoot me a line or drop me a comment. That'd be the easiest way. And um, I will respond. But uh, thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.